This would be awesome if you were like fishing and you caught this. <laughs> I got, look what I caught. It was just swimming in the ocean and I caught it. Let's get right into this. Guys, I'm super excited about this build. We've got a full suspension, full carbon mountain bike that we put a killer motor on. Just everything about this is top of the line. If you're thinking about doing a bike like this, stick around, we're gonna go over soup to nuts what we did and um, you know maybe give you some ideas for your next build. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout, a custom e-bike conversion specialist. Uh, behind me is the shop. We carry everything you're gonna need to convert a bicycle, motorcycle, moped, whatever you want to an electric, light electric vehicle. So if you have questions, go to johnnynerdout.com, book a consultation if you're just like totally lost. Uh, other than that, let's get right into this. Okay, so this is the Marin Carbon 2. So up front, it's got 29 by two and a half inch tires. So these things are, they're, they're beefy. They're big and beefy. I wanted to say that was my nickname in high school, but it definitely wasn't. It's got giant rotors up front. Are these 210s? These are 203s. It's got 203 millimeter rotors up front. Fox front suspension up front. So this thing is like riding on a cloud, especially when you pair that with the Rock Shocks rear shock. This thing just floats. And then let's just, let's move this down to the motor. Uh, we put the CYC Stealth motor on this thing. This puts out 40 amps. Uh, so if you got, you know, 52 volt battery, which we have here, uh, this is a 52 volt, eight amp hour battery. This will put out 40 amps. So 52 volt, fully charged, it's 58.8 fully charged. That's about 2,400 watts that this thing is putting out. But actually, I need to do a little bit more of a deep dive on this motor because this motor is torque sensing and it's different than any other mid-drive. And that's why we had to go with this motor on this bike because of how it uh, attaches. I don't know if you can see this up front here. This is like a little mounting bar here. This allows for super flexible installations. If we had a standard Bafang, something like that, it wouldn't fit here. It wouldn't be able to go. First of all, this is a carbon frame, so you wouldn't want to put a Bafang or a 27 or a Tongsheng, whatever type of motor that clamps on because you could crush the carbon fiber frame. So this, this keeps it from bouncing back and forth. So you don't have to tighten this down crazy tight to lock it on. You just gotta put it on snug and then this will do the rest of the job. And this is a great motor, the torque sensing. In my opinion, CYC probably has, I don't wanna say the best torque sensing, but it's, it, it, probably, it probably is the best torque sensing. And they have the best app. So you're able to dial in the torque sensing, like how sensitive you want it to be. You're able to dial in everything on this motor from the app, which is super easy. You just use little slider bars. So you just literally slide in the sensitivity, top speed, power levels. It's super easy, super easy visual. So as far as that goes, I would say that CYC probably has the best torque sensing, or at least the best software by far. And then when you pair this, this is a 52 volt, eight amp hour battery. So it gives a little, about 400 watt hours, which, you know, if you're using 20 watt hours per mile, like normal riding, that's about a 20 mile range. If you're going slower or using less power, you can get a 40 mile range. If you're using this thing like a dirt bike, you're using like 40 to 50 watt hours per mile, you might get like a nine or 10 mile range. So obviously mileage varies greatly with how you're using it. The one thing I really do like about these CYC Stealths is, so it has the external gear reduction right here. You can see most motors, mid drives, it's internal, but this they're able to put it externally, which means you're able to put the external on the outside and your drive gear on the inside, which gives you a way better chain line. With these things, you don't have to worry about chain lines. You don't have to get aftermarket chain rings, anything like that, because the chain line is perfect on these things. And that goes the same with the, uh, the X1 Pros that have that external reduction gear. And you can see this bike has got a massive gear range. I think this is a 12 speed. I want to say this is like a 51 tooth probably for a low gear. So this is just, it's insane. I think this is a, the 32 tooth up here. So this is just insane gear ratio. This thing will climb a, a straight brick wall if you want it. In fact, let's go do, uh, let's do a hill climbing test, which is an insane hill. You'll never see this in the wild, but let's go see how this thing did with that. So you can see absolutely no problem. It didn't bog down at all. It kept gaining speed as it was climbing. Hills, no problem, especially with gear ratio like this. So now let's go check out the top speed. Let's see what this thing can do on a flat pavement. Let's see what this will do. It's 
All right, so you can see 40 miles an hour, no slouch. I mean, this is a hardtail mountain bike and that thing was still climbing. The motor was still going like it was still climbing. So even on a 52 volt battery, this motor will probably get you close to like 45 miles an hour, which totally is not street legal anywhere. So use this off-road on your own private property, please, if you're gonna be doing that, that type of speed. But if you had this on a road bike, I mean, you could probably hit 50 miles an hour with a 52 volt battery, which is kind of insane. I'm trying to think of anything else that I wanna to touch on. This bike is just sweet. It's got the dropper seat post here. Um, oh, and I thought, let's do a, let's weigh it. I got my little, my handy dandy shipping. Set to ounces. I don't know how many ounces this thing is. <laughs> Such a crap load of ounces. Oh, this is good, 48 pounds. 48 pound fish I just caught. I'd take that over a fish. Mostly because I don't like fish, but I do like e-bikes. So that would be my main reason. All right guys, if you have any questions, I'm gonna put a link to all the different components in the description. So if you're like, what do I, where do you get, the, what's that thing? Check the description below. If you're watching this on your TV, really sorry. You're gonna have to do some research or just email me call the shop. I'm trying to think of any other way you could uh, contact me. But yeah. All right. Cool, guys. Have a good one. Good. Huh? Do I work around here? Yeah.